The novel is narrated by Mink, a shapeshifter figure in Stolo mythology. It is one of our mythologies, and we treat our mythologies as though they really happened, uh, even if they didn't. And, and we actually begin them with that. This happened even if it didn't. Miracle said she had to study Raven's song before writing Celia's song. I had to write down all the characters. I can't believe how many characters I had in Raven's song. I was thinking, how did I keep track of them? I don't know. And each of the points of view is being played with through Mink, the shapeshifter. And because he's um, not responsible for our response, I could get more stretch out of him than if I didn't use him. Miracle said her novel addresses issues of violence against First Nations women that are relevant to Canadian society today. Harper keeps saying that the death of Aboriginal women is not a sociological problem, but this book shows that it definitely is. That the, the murder of Aboriginal women, the attacks on our children, have a sociological origin. It's called colonialism. And it has a definite impact on us. And people have to understand that in order for something to happen. But where can we find that understanding? Literature can give you that because it embodies uh, the business of humanity. It embodies it. You can feel it in your body. And I think that's what I'm trying to do is get people to feel it. Miracle said she hopes to leave a lasting emotional effect on her readers. And that's what to me is, you know, the success of the book. When that happens, it's like, I did it. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs>